Hi everyone, Joe Goth here, creator of Brushify.io. This scene was created in Unreal Engine 5 using the Brushify Environment Toolkit. Everything you're about to see is running on a single 1080 Ti on a normal consumer level desktop PC. This is not just a normal landscape. This is a fully physicalized and interactive world. Think of it sort of like a futuristic version of Minecraft. I can chip away at the world by tunneling into the landscape. And as I do, rocks and all these small pebbles will become dislodged and move with real physics. Every single rock that you see is physicalized. This sort of physical interaction unlocks a lot of gameplay possibilities. For instance, here I can summon these meteors to hit the ground and they'll cause real deformations in the landscape. This is possible because this entire landscape is rendered using the Voxel plugin. In my opinion, this really takes games to the next level in terms of technology. Not only is it now possible to have near photorealism, but we can also physically interact with our worlds in a way never before possible on consumer hardware. Here you can see me actually tunneling into the landscape and actually creating a hole directly through the terrain. Brushify takes care of automatically texturing the landscape as it gets deformed. We can sculpt the landscape in just the same way as we would a normal Unreal Engine landscape, but with the added benefit of being able to create overhangs. It's also really cool how all of the physicalized objects interact with the landscape as you sculpt, and this is all able to take place in runtime. I'm also making use of Unreal Engine 5's Nanite feature, and here you can see in the Nanite preview that I'm actually using it to make the distance mountains much, much cheaper. I'm able to use the high polygon version of all of the distance mountains and really just uh, go completely crazy with the art side of things and not really worry about performance in the distance at all. Another really cool feature I was able to use in this scene uh, is actually the volumetric clouds. I'm actually using ultra dynamic sky in this scene with the volumetric clouds preset. This is really cool because it allows me to have real three-dimensional clouds in the scene and also to take full control over the look. I think Ultra Dynamic Sky is perfect for these really dynamic gameplay scenes, so I'm actually able to have a full 24-hour day and night cycle. This entire lighting setup will pretty much work out of the box and you can pretty much just tweak sliders here and there and you'll get similar results to these. By the way, all of the assets that you see here, the rocks, the grass, uh, the distance mountains, these are all assets that are included in the Brushify packs. These rocks are all Brushify 3D scans. They're all designed to be modular, encapsulated, and game ready, which means they're really easy to place in the context of an open world game. They're also completely set up to use physics out of the box. The other quite impressive thing about this is that the world size is actually not small. Uh, it's 5 kilometers across by 5 kilometers across, so 25 kilometers squared. And what's also amazing is that as I move through this voxel world, uh, new procedural meshes will be generated on the fly. So here you can see that wherever I go to, it's going to become automatically populated completely procedurally uh, with these sort of grass and rocks, and those are all going to follow preset rules. So that's sort of things like what angle uh, the rocks are going to spawn at, um, the sort of quantity and density of the rocks uh, for different areas, and it will really just sort of make its mind up what the world is going to look like. So I didn't have to hand place all of this stuff, it was all procedurally generated automatically. Another Unreal Engine 5 feature that I'm making use of here is Lumen. Lumen allows us to have fully interactive global illumination. So that means that as I put an object like this red cube into the world, you can see that it's actually reflecting that red onto the nearby rocks. So here, if I make this red cube even bigger, we can see that all of the nearby rocks are actually getting that red reflection from the cube. So I think this is a really good example of global illumination because you can see the cube is effectively acting as a light source, uh, even though there are no actual red lights in the scene. 
And if I actually change this cube's color to somewhere in the green here, uh, and I just have to move it around, and you can see that as the light updates, now all of the rocks have got the green reflection going on instead of red. Uh, and that's because all of this stuff is happening dynamically in real time. Now this is quite an exaggerated example, but what you can actually see when you turn on Lumen is that every object in the scene feels more embedded in its surroundings. And that's because it's actually getting light uh, that is reflected from the rest of the scene, which has the correct color and tonality uh, that it should actually have. The fact that you can just play around with colors and lighting and everything will update in real time is one of the big game changers with Unreal Engine 5 and Lumen. If I actually move this light further away, you can see that that blue light's now completely disappeared. And if I bring it back, the blue light reappears again. So it really is completely real time and uh, interactive. There's no baking, there's no waiting. Uh, and also it doesn't have the cost of RTX or ray tracing. So it's a very cheap way uh, to get very nice looking global illumination. And I think just overall, you can really see the big difference that it makes um, to pretty much any scene because all of the rocks here, for instance, just look like they're very well embedded into their environment. At this point, it really feels like I'm using a game engine from the future. With this demo, I really wanted to go crazy and string together all of the most sort of high-end and really experimental technology. So Unreal Engine 5, Brushify, Voxel Plugin, Ultra Dynamic Sky, put them all together into one project and get everything working and, and see how it looks. I really think the results have been really fantastic. And to be honest, I'm really surprised just how well all of this works in this early access version. I was very surprised how stable it is. Um, it's running at least 60 FPS on my 1080 Ti, which is now a, a pretty old video card. And um, yeah, I'm just very happy that all of this tech really can just work. And really the setup worked pretty much out of the box, to be honest. Unreal Engine 5 itself is still early access and all of the plugins and things that I'm using are constantly being worked on and improved. But I think with time, we're going to get more stability, more performance, and even better graphics out of just stringing together all of these different technologies. I'm really hoping that this video serves as a little bit of inspiration and a sort of glimpse into the future, and it maybe opens everyone's eyes to what could be possible for games going forward. In the future, I can see developers creating vast, destructible worlds. We really are no longer limited to corridor shooters or these sort of simplistic, solid environments. The world can be completely dynamic, and we can have realistic graphics alongside this level of physicality. Since Unreal Engine 5 came out, I felt more than ever like I'm living in the future of real-time graphics. So I'd like to give a huge thanks to Epic Games for Unreal Engine 5 and for pushing us into the future of technology. And I'd also like to give a big thank you to Voxel Plugin, whose technology and customer support allowed me to create this demo, and to Ultra Dynamic Sky for the beautiful lighting presets. Hi everyone. So yeah, just wanted to wrap the video up by saying, uh, don't forget to subscribe uh, by clicking the subscribe button below and a little bell notification icon thingy. If that's still there, I don't even know. It really does help me with this channel and sort of growing the channel and also helps me get a good idea of what you kind of want to watch, what you guys are liking and what you don't like, that kind of thing. Also, feel free to add a comment below and ask me anything about, you know, Brushify or Unreal, that kind of stuff. Uh, most of the time I will reply if it's a serious question. I think that's just about everything from my side. Uh, don't spend all summer on Unreal Engine 5. Go outside, try and enjoy the sun while it lasts. That's a big word of advice to everybody. And after a winter like last winter, I think we all need to have a little bit less stress in our lives. Go outside, get some sun, and uh, live your best life. All right, guys, Joe Goth signing out. Take care, everyone. Cheers.